The only way to make sense of what's happening around the world today is to know what's going to happen tomorrow in the future. God has seen fit to tell us a great many things about the future. There are hundreds of yet-to-be-fulfilled prophecies in the Bible. That's why we reserve a few minutes on Sunday morning to suggest news or trends that you would expect to be predicted by a literal futurist reading of the Bible. To avoid sensationalism, we choose reliable news sources. It doesn't mean they're always right, but they're not fringe. And we're not saying that the things we report are the fulfillment of prophecy, only that you would expect these things to be happening in light of what the Bible says. The last book of the Bible, the Revelation, mostly future prophecy. The granddaddy, of course, is the mark of the beast. It reads like this from Revelation 13. All, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. No one may buy or sell except one who has the mark or the name of the beast. That's uh, another name for the Antichrist or the number of his name. We live at the time in human history, the only time in which it is possible for a universal mark to control a person's every behavior. Uh, nothing like this can be imagined without facial recognition or palm reading, uh, you know, technology, or not the original palm reading, but the modern palm reading, you know, where they read your palm or vein scanning or that kind of thing. But you can envision, I mean, other than you think, well, politically, I can't see how it happened, but technically, Everybody in the world could have some kind of an identifying mark uh, and, and be subject to this kind of a system. And, and that's never, never been possible before, but it is now. And so that is interesting. Uh, here's a case in point. I read an article titled, Australia Bets on Facial Recognition for Problem Gamblers. Get that? They bet on it? That's pretty creative. <laughs> Kudos to you guys in Australia. Of course, the rest of the country is crazy, but anyway... Hey, they were one of the worst countries for COVID. Did you follow that? And they were like uh, Nazi Germany when it came to COVID. But anyway, here we go. As guests arrive at Eastern Australia's Warila Hotel, a small camera equipped with facial recognition software scans their faces as part of a scheme to tackle problem gambling. The tech, which uses AI, artificial intelligence, to identify addicts who have asked to be barred from betting sites, is set to be rolled out across gambling venues in the state of New South Wales next year. Supporters say it will help curb the gambling problem in a country where the addiction affects about 1% of the population and annual losses run to billions of dollars. So for that 1% of the population, they're going to scan everybody's face uh, that comes into a casino. Facial recognition technology is increasingly used for everything from unlocking mobile phones to checking in for flights. It's also been adopted by some police forces. Now, you noticed this is voluntary until it isn't. Uh, you know, it, once you get your foot in the door, uh, so now it's a guy, hey, I am a problem gambler. Not really, but I'm a problem gambler. And so uh, help me not to gamble by scanning my face and refusing to sell me chips at casinos uh, all over the, the country. And at first you think, oh, okay, I, I could go for that. But what happens when somebody in power says, you know, these gamblers, I don't think they're reporting all their earnings the way that they should. And so we're going to start tracking everybody who's gambling, and you're going to give us 50% of your gambling. Right? Well, no, you're not. Yeah, well, yeah actually you are. And, and then a bunch of people say, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. And, and, and it just, it happens. We saw this in COVID, right? With uh, whatever you think about COVID. I, I had COVID. I ended up contracting COVID. And the worst part about it for me, now I know we know a lot of people, we know personally people who have died, so I'm not making fun of that. But for me, the worst part was wondering if I was going to die from it because of all the fear, you know, that, that, and all. But uh, during the COVID thing, Science kind of went out the window, and it was like whatever this group of people, whoever they were, wanted you to do. Uh, it was almost like a Simon Says thing, you know, where Simon, uh, we want you to rub your tummy this morning for COVID. <laughs> now rub it the other way. Oh, yeah. And if you didn't, you were a non or an unrubber, I guess, you know, and stuff. Remember? The unvaxxers and all that. So uh, we, we can't really trust that this kind of process is going to be fair or take our rights into account. And... Once there is no paper currency, once you can't buy anything with paper money, you can only do it digitally, then you're really stuck. And by digital, we're not talking about Bitcoin. I mean that it's all in your 
it's all uh, in your bank account. It's all numbers. You know, you check your chasing. Oh, I have this much. Oh, I have this much. Oh, wait a minute. I just tried to gamble and they won't let me. In fact, they've penalized me. Now I have nothing. Uh, and, and so, the, and ultimately, in the Great Tribulation, that's the kind of thing that is going to enable the Antichrist to say, "You are cut off from society. You can't go anywhere where we don't know you. you can't. We're not going to give you any money. In fact, I'm sending drones out to kill you because the, that's what I'm all about." Uh, and so, reel this in a little bit. We are witnessing what we call the stage setting for the final seven-year tribulation. We're not in it. We're not going to be in it. But things are building up towards it. So you can look and say, you know, I think if the rapture happened right now, I could see how this could unfold. Could be totally different. Could be totally different. I expect the Lord to come any minute. Maybe he doesn't come for another 10 years and we're even closer. Uh, but I think anybody uh, can read the Bible and read the news and see that at least these are the end times talked about. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming. Amen.